Hey guys, Weeby News here, and like I mentioned in the comment section of my last video, I did beat this game a few days ago, pretty much um, in this video and the last video you guys saw. Um, I just played it like fully for like, I don't even know how long, a very, very long time, like five hours or something crazy like that. But I wanted to kind of give an introduction to this video, firstly, because I do want to put like an in video warning for this one, that this game really is not for those who are easily disturbed or who have severe anxiety or depression. I feel like I greatly underestimated just like how fucked up this game was when I decided to play it. It's really a warning you should not take lightly, believe me. With that being said, I do have pretty bad anxiety issues and I was a little bit worried about playing this game because of that, but like I said, I kind of skipped over the warnings and stuff. It hasn't affected me like too, too horribly or anything, but I do feel like compared to other Let's Players that I've seen playing this game, I was considerably more freaked out and really couldn't keep my thoughts together very well while playing it. I think it was a mixture of that and me just being really, really tired because I had been playing for so long. Anyways, I felt like I sounded pretty stupid while editing this, so I just wanna let you guys know if I sound kinda, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> out of it or tired or whatever else. I apologize. I don't plan on ever recording for this long, like a visual novel format at the very least, ever again. I recorded the trials for like, I think five to six hours before, but I didn't have to talk the whole time, so it was considerably easier. But with this game, like my voice was just totally fried and I was like exhausted afterwards, so don't think I'll do that again. But regardless, I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, what? the fuck? Um... What the fuck? What the actual fuck is going on? Is my game messed up? Or... It looked kind of fucked up a second ago too though. I wanna click this. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Zvergevda. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, starting... What happens if I load? Oh, what? Do I not load? I can't, I can't load. Ah, we used to walk to school together in days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequently and I'd get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Hajvida catch up to me. Oh God, what the fuck is that thing? Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> it's an ordinary day of school day like any other. Morning is usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. A series just like, gone. <sighs> The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. <laughs> oh, fuck doing the voice. <laughs> there really aren't any clubs that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Weeby? Ah, oh God. Monica! Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we're in the same class. La we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. This is the same as before. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. I'm so fucking mind. F I'm like. So mind fucked right now. What is going on? What'd you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really, you quit? 
Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club! <laughs> literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry... I mean, one of the, my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Everything's so happy again! Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm... Hey, Weeby. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh... I mean, I guess so, but... In that... In that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? Don't do it. <laughs> I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at least... If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, uh, awesome. You're really sweet, Weeby, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Didn't he say that about Sayori, originally? I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me! Ha! Uh... A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki? I can't even- my mind's so fucked right now. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyways, welcome to the club, Weeby. Ugh. All words escape me in this situation. This club... is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the- the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyways, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Weeby in a classroom and I decided to come check out the club. Sayori's not here anymore. She's just out? She's just gone? Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, oh well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Weeby? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take the seat next to Monica. So I know you don't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess... What the fuck is going on? Why is... <laughs> ah! Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. 
Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. I didn't expect it to get all cutesy again after that. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, that's... You know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Weeby, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. I kind of want to just, like, skip to see what the fuck is going on. I'm so confused. I don't even know if I should read for them or anything. They're just saying the same fucking thing, but Sayori's not here. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right? Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Why is this the... What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this is so different! I don't know what this is! What are you saying, bitch? I can't wait. Looked slightly different, I think. Without I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way in my mind wanders back to the fourth between the three girls. Natsuki, <laughs> Yuri, and of course, Monica. <laughs> Where's the Yuri? <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess I'll just keep going. I don't know what's going on. You've unlocked a special poem, would you like? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I want to read it. A dream. I was wandering in an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sounds of my flashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With, no, with one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Is that it? What does it mean? <laughs> okay. Um, once we're for Sayori, you're now for Natsuki. This is so insane. I don't even know what to say. Hi again, Weeby. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away from on us. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. <laughs> uh, well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone was already hanging out. Ah! Thanks for keeping your promise, Weeby. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? <laughs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. <laughs> uh, the music kind of sounded fucked up again for a second. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just keep... To, to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. <laughs> oh, she's like in front of it. Um, uh, um, oh, God. I do feel like... <laughs> The main things I was worried about with the spoilers were um, the Sayori thing and then the line I heard and I didn't know how it was a spoiler. But now I know how it's a spoiler. <laughs> I think I get it now. Oh, that kind of sucks. I definitely didn't think it was, it meant what I thought it meant when I first heard it. I think I know what it means now. Um, anyways, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in the club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait, I don't mean it like that. Uh, what is, I feel like the background looks fucked up too. It looks like really zoomed in or something. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. I look forward to hearing what you think. Oh, oh yeah, it was fucked up. <laughs> now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Okay, that's, uh, I guess I'll just keep 
skipping? Um, is it just gonna keep doing the same thing? Oh, I never even did this scene before. You look, you looking for something in there? Uh, oh, I, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I kind of just expected this to go into the normal scene like it was doing for the other stuff. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm so scared. I kind of wanted to see if the history would say it. <laughs> Fucking Monacam. Uh, she never puts a nice stuff in the right spot. <laughs> What's the point in keeping your collection organized if something else is just gonna mess it up? So, we be from the future again. <laughs> I um, wanted to put in a recording for this because I don't really say anything while I'm doing this and like it's just kind of, it would be really awkward to like edit through or try to like just edit the raw footage itself. It seemed like it made a lot more sense for me to just record something and kind of put it in there. Anyways, I feel like this game, like I said before, freaked me out a lot more than it freaked out other Let's Players. And um, especially with all these repeat scenes, I didn't know um, what to do. And I thought I was a lot closer to the end of the game than I actually was. And I started skipping a bunch of stuff, even like the newer scene, like this scene with Natsuki. I pretty much end up at one point in this scene being like, okay, I just need to keep playing and like reading fully for everything like I don't think the ends as close as I think it is basically but uh, I did skip a good bit of this stuff I wanted to kind of like put in um, some recording though so you guys know it's not because like I don't care about the characters I don't like the game or anything like that I was thinking about doing some mods for this game um, after this video goes up so if you guys are interested in that I could go back and get this and play through the whole thing again because I do care about knowing about these characters I just felt like I guess with um, everything else going on in the second act it was hard for me to kind of like focus on the characters again from like I guess the more cutesy normal perspective because I was just like so freaked out I guess by the rest of the game I hope that makes sense I just wanted to put this in so you guys do know that I wasn't trying to brush off the characters or the game's writing or anything like that I was just kind of freaked out and like like I said I thought I was a lot closer to the end than I actually was so I don't know I, I just like wasn't really thinking very very thoroughly I guess but anyways let's go ahead and get back in oh I don't understand I was just supposed to be like reading this like normal <laughs> and nothing weirds going on Weeby just keep going <laughs> okay okay well I wouldn't really know what do you mean don't you share your manga with your friends could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Huh. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still have grown out of that yet. It makes me want to punch them in the face. And I know those kinds of people. <laughs> Yuri. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to write to find friends you won't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of, I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you, huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad- Oh my god! I was right about that! My dad would be the shit out of me if he found this. What did she actually say, though? I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. That was what it said originally. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well it, well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so? Ah. Uh, I guess I'll just keep reading it. Sorry, guys, that I skipped over so much. I don't really know what to do. It's just like we're playing the whole game over again, but with, like, a bunch of really fucked up stuff planted in between. I guess I'll just read all of it, so I know what to do in editing? Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? I kinda wonder what Yuri's would've said. Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Uh, 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 uh. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she's started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Why is this game so fucked up? Suddenly, Natsuki collapsed straight into me. Hey. Ah! <laughs> it gets me every time! What is going on? What the fuck is this? Uh. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. 
Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. And they don't have those fucking black circles over them. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give. <laughs> she doesn't even find her finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Weeby. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyways, why don't we all share poems now? I told Natsuki I was interested in seeing her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if, she sh if I shared mine with her first. Uh, okay, well, are you okay? You okay, buddy? You doing okay now? Okay, well, let's start out with the things I don't like. First of all, um, uh, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, uh, what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted you- I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha, huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Eh, uh, you're so... You just, you just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a lose that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Yeah, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay, it's the same poem from before. That's cool. I like your poem. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I love it. Hi, Weeby. Having a good time so far? Oh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the clubs, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? It's all right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Be much better going the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyways, I want to share, want to share in your poem, want to share your poem with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Weeby. We're all a little embarrassing, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we're all, we will all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it, Weeby. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. Kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. When she fucking glitched out? This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyways, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's just read it then. Hole in the wall. I don't... I think this one might be different. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me, confused. I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are they other? Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scowling plays tricks on my eyes. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dis dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fear as I brandish my pen? She like talking about coming out of the game to get me? I feel like I guess the, the spoiler I got is like, I don't know if I can even like give any of my thoughts without giving it away. I saw the just Monica line. I figured it meant she was like the craziest one. I figured it even meant that or like my mom was saying like, oh, it's just cause she's the best girl, fucking liar. <laughs> so like my fear is I brandished my pen. Now it's like, is she writing this to me? I mean, I, it's kind of what I feel. She trying to escape the game? 
so what do you think? Huh, it's very freeform if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. I guess this is all the same thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it. Okay. I guess it's everyone. I glance around the room. <laughs> Sayori's still not here. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. And even if there... Is the music messed up again? Even if there's just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They generally exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. It's not gonna give me like an option for anything to do with Sayori. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... Uh, literally, she just like replaced her. This doesn't involve you. Talking out your- taking out your own insecurities on others like- ah! ah! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. <laughs> Me, look who's talking you want to be edgy, bitch. Edgy? Sorry, the lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. Oh, it's getting different now. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Oh, well, be careful. You might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Oh my god, did she cut herself? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your head? Hey, yeah, go on. Let Weeby hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah, something Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Weeby, she's just trying to make me look bad. And that's not true. She started it. Ah, how did I get past you ever to think of the stop of the course? Ah, 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 take your side, Natsuki. What? What? Ah, oh my god! has a virus. <laughs> Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway... If it makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Weeby, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Just like we forgot about Sayori. Anyways, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Ugh. Yuri looks at me like she wanted to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Uh, uh, well, I'm vice president, so... Just fucking leave, Yuri. She's gonna kill you. <laughs> Please, let me take that responsibility today. 
It kind of sounds like you don't want to be around for something, Yuri. It's not like that! It's not that! I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Weeby. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Ha, huh, sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really- Oh my god! She like deleted her or something! I uh, hang out with Yuri? I guess so. I'll see if she's... Dead? I don't even know if it matters who I choose at this point. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. And in the club, the usual scene greets me. <laughs> the usual scene. Welcome back, Weeby. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Thank God. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please, don't think we're usually like this. <laughs> Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Weeby, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They made me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little brighter with you around, and... Uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Huh? No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Nah. Uh, Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Please, please, just just let her go. <laughs> let her be gone. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Huh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, not to you about yesterday. I just want, wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you not remember? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? That was what Monica said. She was like, oh, she'll completely forget about it by tomorrow. And she did. Oh. Oh. Fucking Monica's like God in this world. Jeez. Whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Is she like fucking editing these lines? Or is she like replacing it? I don't even remember anything bad happening. <laughs> Everything is fine. Nothing weird is going on. <laughs> Everything is normal. <laughs> You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> No, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Uh, Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. It's okay, be late always, Monica. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> Does Yuri, like, remember? <laughs> yeah, I guess Yuri remembers. I wonder if Yuri is like, don't let her fucking back in. I can't take this shit anymore. <laughs> what took you so long anyways? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. <laughs> Don't give me more credit than I deserve. 
I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still. That must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it, don't. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Weeby. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyways. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. Uh, um, I chose not to be... Uh, uh, I can't tell if that was my actual game, or... I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. I've been playing for a while, so I can't even tell anymore if, like if it's my computer that's glitching out, or like the game. I guess sometimes it's really obvious it's the game doing it, but like, other times like that, I'm like, was that... Was that the game, or was that... was that me? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Weeby. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there. So it's okay, right? Eh. <sighs> in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. I would think this was cute if everything wasn't so fucking weird. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath then pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. What's the story about, anyway? Well, huh. Look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye and the symbol in front of the cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. This seems different than I remember it being before. But there's a facility that gets even worse, and they start... Selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating them to- Holy shit, this is way worse than the last one. Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> but anyways, I'm really into it. The book I mean- <laughs> The book I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of- That's kind of dark, isn't it? Uh, this, I remember this book not being so fucked up last time. It's like they're redoing everything, but like actually showing all the fucked up parts, like- with Natsuki, Natsuki getting uh, beat by her dad, and I guess her with the cutting thing. I didn't get far enough in her story to, I guess, to see that she cut, but like, it's like revealing all of that. That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Huh. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Weeby? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyways. Yeah, so it's like the real thoughts are these, I guess. Then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly- Why was that? My whole body gets incredibly- I don't know, I couldn't see. I couldn't see what it said. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please, start, stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. 
least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In, fa in fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? Yeah. Yes! I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I'm gonna get the same cutscene before. I guess... It, I guess it's gonna show... All the dark shit, though, this time. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading for my book instead. It's the same thing. Sorry. I was just bathing into the feeling of your body! <laughs> oh. I was like bathing in the heat of your body or something. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <sighs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Huh. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and the forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. This is the same too. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Ah. Uh, to turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Yeah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Is Monica gonna pop out and be pissed? I, that's what I feel like, I mean, ugh, god dang it. I feel like I can't even give my thoughts regarding any of this without it being affected by that stupid fucking line that I saw. <laughs> I mean, now that she's like, you know, not letting me choose other people or like do anything in a fucking poem. I don't know if that was the same poem as before, but it sounded fucked up. Like she wanted to come out of the game or like, like I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's it. Like Monica is like, a virus or something? She's like fucking with the game? And she wants you to choose her? Like, no matter what? Like, she wants to be your waifu that bad? My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side, she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little. <laughs> In this really fucked up book. Huh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Did she make that face before? Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I thought you meant something else about her. <laughs> something else? Never mind. We don't. We didn't even get that far yet. Ah! <laughs> you are gonna be. Are you actually fucked up? I don't remember her making that face before either. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? Huh? Yuri's being a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little. My breathing. 
Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? God dang it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with hers? Siori was that she was suicidal. And then I'm guessing hers is that she was implying that she cut herself. Like she was into self-harm. But it almost seems like now it's implying that she likes to cut other people maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe Natsuki was just like implying, accusing her of the wrong thing. Weeby. <laughs> Leave me alone. Did something happen just now? <sighs> I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. You're so fucking scary, Monica. <laughs> Yuri does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyways, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then let it slip back into my bag. Oh, great. I get to show my poems now. I don't want to have to see Monica anymore. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I won't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Amy likes spiders again. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyways, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. I like your hobby a lot better, Natsuki, because I think yours is just that you like manga and I'm pretty sure Yuri's is that she likes to kill people. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this very club whom I respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. You're gonna fucking die next, Natsuki. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing. You can leave now. Aw, oh, no. Hi again, Weeby. Uh, how's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. You want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. I guess, like, it really is immersive how they're doing this. Like, where it's like the game glitches out and then it just goes completely back to normal. Like, 100%. Like, it's very, very interesting. It's like the anticipation thing. But, like, now it's... <laughs> I mean, I thought the anticipation thing was just for, like, I don't know, somebody to go on a killing rampage. But the anticipation now is, like, when the game's gonna fuck up again. I give my poem to Monica. Huh. All right. Great job, Weeby. I was going oh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyways. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? 
Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. What the fuck is up with Yuri? She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little too strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyways, you want to read my poem now. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. What the fuck is your poem gonna be? Save me. The colors, they weren't bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. It's like totally written differently. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating. So to king screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Oh, it's loading now. Like playing a chalkboard on a round table. Like playing a knife on a breaking rib cage. Da da da. Mindless, is it meaningless? Mindless poem of meaningless. Delete her? Is that what she's doing? Is she deleting people? Or is this like a warning that I should delete Monica? Huh. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. You're fucking crazy, Monica. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. What the fuck are you trying to tell me? There's no point in explaining. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game! <laughs> God damn it. I remember this line. You never know when, um... I'm so fucking scared! Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please send help? Okay. That's my advice for today. Is there something wrong with Monica? <laughs> Did you get possessed by a Satan virus? That's my advice for today. Is, is she asking for help? Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Weeby, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job of explaining. I really wanted to try giving him more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Huh, that makes me so happy. I'm so amazed to feel like I'm valued, Weeby. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Weeby? I'm not being weird, right? I'm not having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Wheel. Oh, this is different. You guys said all the poems are about them? A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding bottle head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, 
What the fuck is an exponential gearbox? A sky of exploding stars, God is proving the existence of God. What the fuck is this? A wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears, and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy sticks tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood ridden in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. What the fuck? Uh, it's about, they were talking about, you guys said it was like they always wrote about themselves. I don't even know if that really like applies anymore with all this shit going on. <laughs> nice poem, buddy. <laughs> It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pin. Uh, that is a pin fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for keepsaking and... I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. <laughs> the poem was really fucked up, Yuri. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? What is up with you? You can keep the poem, though. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? I don't know. <laughs> a joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time? Is this about Sayori? She's in love with him. Before disaster could happen, the third party intervened with her programming. Is he talking about Monica? Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction made the script derail. Is, so this is about what's going on, I guess. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him, but before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. So, Monica fucked her up. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself. Okay, I think it's just talking about how Monica fucked up her programming. It reminds me of an episode from, like, um, Gravity Falls, where it was like, uh, God, why can't I th even think of his name right now? But, um, the nerdy guy, he, like, uh, had a girlfriend in, like, a video game, and she, like, wanted to kill his real significant other in order to like um be with him forever is monica like in love with me and that's why she's doing this and it's like so i'm wondering i guess if she's like in love with me i guess you know and that's why everything is fucking up unless there's like another third party that's intervening but i assume it's monica oh uh, uh, sayori oh you're back oh, i'm so happy <laughs> Okay, everyone. Sayori, please come back. Save me. <laughs> We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Uh, oh, she's gone. My mouth is normal again. Well, sort of. Like, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Ah, uh, don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since we joined and we've started, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. Remember Sayori? I don't know what you're talking about. Only four members, ever. And the festival is their only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members, anyways? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. <laughs> I know you feel that way too. 
I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard to put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. And you love the literature club, don't you? You always want to stay here forever. Right, Weeby? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Weeby to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Weeby joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Weeby isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who seems interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine just like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. She's gonna fucking kill you, Natsuki. <laughs> ah. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. It's so weird, because it's like... Everything's normal, and then everything goes fucking ballistic. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Weeby want to get more members too. Right? Um... Uh... I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? How do you see this? But that way doesn't mean... But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Weeby, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well... That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? Is he really gonna say to get laid? In fact... If I remember, you weren't given a choice... Not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all of this anyways? What if starting this club was a mistake? <laughs> now you've done it, Natsuki. She's gonna fucking kill you. Or I am, I don't even know anymore. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't many other places like that for me. Yeah, because your dad. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Weedy. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. Get out, Natsuki. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Nats Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, who cares about the obnoxious brat? Oh, it's getting freaky again. Ah, I just went back to normal. I mean, I like how nice and quiet this club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. And it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh, God. What? What the fuck was that? Her eye explode? Is that what her poem was about? The really fucked up one? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. I'm scared to click again. Okay. But what about you, Weeby? What do you want to get out of this club? <laughs> My sanity back! Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And to stop seeing all these weird fucked up images randomly. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. <laughs> I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member... What was that? 
shit falling from her eyes. It's like the... The, um... Blood that I saw a second ago. Yeah! <laughs> it's gonna happen! Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way! Did it stop? Nope. Still going. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vi vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. Like, I don't know if it's like... I guess... I don't know if she's like trying to escape the game or like... If she's in love with me and she doesn't want me to love any of the other members. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Weeby? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Weeby before we leave. Please don't leave me alone with her. <laughs> Just to see what he thinks of this time, of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Ugh. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? <laughs> Are you telling me, Monica? <laughs> Weeby, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. <laughs> it's getting freaky again. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And for... Whatever else the fuck I am. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Is, is that it? Is she in love with me? With how mean Natsuki is and everything, I'm just gonna fucking kill her. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No! What? Ah! <laughs> Okay, we're back here. I want to know what's up with Yuri. Let's do you, Miss Psychopath. Oh my god. What does this one do? Ah! Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have pressed that. <laughs> one, 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 that's 20. Um, ambient, philosophy. Uh, uh, uh. What? I'm congruent, disoriented. Does it even matter what I choose? Hi, Weeby. Did I get you? I don't even know what I chose anymore. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Ugh. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. <laughs> With the game fucking up and all. Anyways, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. 
Well, Weeby just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Ah. Right. I forgot. Um, about that Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. As long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Uh, um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little bit more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Um, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyways, Weeby. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Weeby is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Oh, what the fuck was that? Is she gonna kill me? Um. Thank you for understanding, Monica. Uh, actually, I have a request. I should have chosen Natsuki. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. I want to know what's up with her, but at the same time, I'm scared. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Is she like a serial killer or something? Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. She's gonna fucking kill Natsuki. Can you hold this for a second? Or is she gonna try to kill me? Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. 10 minutes pass. She did. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored, just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. Uh, 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 uh. What's that noise? The music's fucked up again, too. It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Gah, I'm guessing that's Yuri. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Oh god, I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh, she cut herself. Kya! Huh. Oh god, it's, it's coming, the noise, ha, ah, the most logical place, let's see. Is it rewind? Oh, rewinded! Are they trying to edit out the bad stuff? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Weeby, do you like oolong tea? 
Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. Okay, oh, I guess I was wrong. I was thinking she was like a serial killer or something, but I guess she really does cut herself. That kind of makes me feel bad. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it when it's you who's around anyways. Ah. <sighs> That's great, Yuri. Don't push yourself so much. You're always worrying about me, Weeby. It's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Weeby, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, yeah, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? Why does she have back pain? I wonder why that is. It's more likely because my... Uh... Oh, her boobs. My... Your posture, right? I was thinking it was something fucked up. <laughs> Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolates as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Ah. Yuri slides closer until her shoulders are touching. <laughs> All this fucking cute shit. Like, I'm supposed to, like, I don't know how, like, to even react to any of this when it's, like, all this other insaneness has come up, you know? Like, I wonder how other people do this if it's just, like... Oh, we're back to the cutesy stuff. Oh my god, Yuri is so kawaii. Her boobs hurt her back posture. You know, it's like all this other stuff just feels like weird to be playing through now. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less ap apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to respond to this stuff? I just walked in on her cutting herself. <laughs> now I'm trying to be like, oh, oopsie, I don't want to touch your boob. Ooh, man, this is so cute. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, it won't take any... Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. Didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh man, this is all just so kawaii. Nothing's <laughs> nothing's wrong at all, guys. <laughs> Everything's normal. <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time re from reading it, reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case. Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. 
But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Weeby, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavy. I... I can't. Weeby. Uh, suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacups get knocked over. Weeby. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Weeby. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Weeby? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? Oh, God. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh, God, the face! <laughs> I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <laughs> Are those like real human eyes? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that was pretty fucked up, Yuri. <laughs> um, it's time to share poems. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this game anymore. <laughs> Natsuki, okay, please calm me down. I should have hung out with you. Um, I thought you said you liked the fucked up characters, Weeby. I don't know if I do anymore. <laughs> I think I'll hard pass. I like you and I like Sayori. I feel safe with you guys. Oh man. This is seriously a step backwards. Uh, I liked your last two way better than this one. This is clearly Yuri's influence. It was really fucked up too. It's like she even had fucking human eyes on her face at one point. What the hell was that? I didn't realize you were so impressionable. Spending all this time with her in the club. Now trying to write like her. This is stupid. At least Monica appreciates my writing. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you now. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Oh my god. Oh, it's like a note to me about Yuri? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. <laughs> she's not normally possessed by Satan. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself after... I hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Is this Monica? Can you hear me, Weeby? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Okay, so maybe she is in love with me. Just think of M Monica from now on. Just Monica. Oh, okay, that was... <laughs> that was the line. That was the line that I heard that I figured was a spoiler, but I didn't know what the fuck it meant. I just assumed originally it was that, like, I don't know, everybody was going to be, you know, a psychopath, like, in school days or, like, in Higurashi, but Monica was going to be the craziest one. I even thought, like, I started overthinking to the point where I was like, well, maybe it's just Monica that's going to be the normal one. Now, once things started kind of fucking up, I felt like, 
was was when I was like, okay, this does kind of feel like a spoiler since like every time the game fucks up, she appears so greatly in it. So I guess I don't even know what I would have thought about, you know, if I would have assumed it was her immediately or if I would have thought it was something else. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Huh. Oh my God. It's gonna restart the whole fucking game and just be Monica. <laughs> what happens if I choose Yuri? Is it gonna, be, gonna give me the buzzer again? <laughs> I thought it'd give me the buzzer and be like, no, Weeby, you gotta just choose me. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Weeby, I wanna take this home. Will you let me keep it? Are you gonna hang it on your wall like Sayori did? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Weeby. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Oh, don't. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay for me to be feeling this way, right? <laughs> so many jump scares. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna make me feel. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. <laughs> oh god. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream so she enjoys cutting herself. <laughs> uh, at least you have crazy anime eyes and not crazy real people eyes. You can have my poem too. <laughs> I can't I'm fucking dead. It just goes back to the normal, normal sprite again. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you'll you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. What does it say? Oh my god. Oh my god, the fucking music changed! It's got like blood on it, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck even is this game? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is up with her eyes? I don't even know what to feel. Weirdly, I feel like, I guess because I have blue eyes, I feel like it's like my monitor, like my webcam's like capturing my eyes. I know it's not, but it's freaking me the fuck out. Do you like it? I wrote it just for you. In any case, you can tell the poem is about how she read it. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Get the fucking blood on there? <laughs> is that your scent? See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? <laughs> oh my god. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Good talk. Who should I show my poem to next? Weeby, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. <laughs> this whole fucking game. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. <laughs> what would have happened if I would have spent time with her in the normal story? Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? <laughs> why do you say that? Why do you have such a happy sprite when you say that? Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. Uh, is that it? But the point is, you're, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. <laughs> but it totally is. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy and spend a little more time with her. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. Are you trying to say I should be with you? Fucking psychopath. Anyways, I guess we don't- we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so... I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here goes. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. 
and cheese. That really startled me. You know, Monica, I think I've gotten used to the jump scares at this point. That's kind of sad. And cheese. That really startled me. Um. Well, I guess it's kind of messed up that uh, writing this poem, I was just trying to. And <laughs> never mind. Let's just move on. Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> yes. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I thought I understand. I think I understand how sex. Is that it? I, th I think I understand how blink feels now. Sex? I don't know. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Oh my god. Okay, everyone. <laughs> it's time to figure out the festival preparations. <laughs> you thought the festival was going to be bad, Weeby. <laughs> Everything got fucked up way before that. Let's hurry and get this over with. Hey, jeez. Oh, you're alive, Natsuki. I'm surprised. Why is the mood so weird today? I wonder why. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. I don't want to see her sprite. Huh. Stagnating air is common for foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> All these fucking lines coming back. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica. I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. And there, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Weeby? Weeby is going to help me. <laughs> you don't get a fucking choice this time. Oh wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. <laughs> Sorry, but that's just how it goes. I'm gonna fuck up the game if, if Weeby doesn't hang out with me. I like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. Watch your cupcakes, please. Like you- <laughs> God, it's like it's getting messed up again too, like the real personalities or something are coming out. Like you would fucking know. All you care about now is dragging Weeby around with you and your stupid books. And you, you and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not letting Weeby decide who to help instead of abusing your power? <laughs> she chose Sayori last time and I'm not gonna let that shit happen again. I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Weeby make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Weeby, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Uh, Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Hey, you shut your mouth. And <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice already. Oh, <laughs> my mouse. I can't, I can't actually... Get... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I was trying to see if I could choose somebody else besides Monica, but it, like, it was moving my mouse down. Monica, 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 Monica. Yay, you picked me! <laughs> Yay, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise, it'll be fun. It's Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this isn't fair at all. It's fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. You fucking rigged this shit, bitch. Giving us all this work and then taking Weeby for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Hey Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being un- Oh no, her face is crazy again. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> oh no. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Weeby away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you just jealous? Crazy. Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you ever considered killing yourself? 
It would be beneficial for your mental health. Oh my god. Aerie, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, please get out of here. These bitches are crazy. You're the only normal one left. Sayori's gone. And Natsuki, let's just go. <laughs> the sprite's still the same. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend some time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Weeby. Yuri is really something, isn't she? She's a fucking psychopath. Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm gonna die. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Weeby, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. What are you gonna do to me? Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? I don't know. What makes you think that? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? I don't really think so. <laughs> nice isn't the adjective I would use. To have someone who wants to resolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. Are you going to kill yourself too? I don't care anymore, Weeby. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you to be in love with me anymore. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. <laughs> I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. <laughs> Please, Weeby, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pin I stole from you. <laughs> I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. What a romantic thing to say. I'm gonna try using that line on my boyfriend the next time I see him. See how he likes it. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Weeby. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. I don't want to choose. <laughs> okay. Yes, and she kills me. Or no, and she kills me. <laughs> Which one do you want to choose? Oh my god. The music is fucking crazy. What happens if I say no? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! What the fuck? Oh my god! Holy crap! I don't know what I expected, but not that! Oh, I don't know what would have happened if I would have said yes. Would she have still killed herself or killed me? Oh my god, this game is fucking crazy! Uh, I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. How long does this go on for? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's like her corpse decomposing? Looks like it's getting different. And it's still skipping. How long does this go on for? Yeah, it's slowly like her body's decomposing. The blood stride. <laughs> I don't know if I should have said no. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you say yes. Alright, it's festival time. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, Natsuki, you're still here. <laughs> wow, you got here before me. I thought I was pretty... Oh, yeah, you saw. It Was I just, like, sitting there? Ah! Oh, God. Vomiting, yeah. Natsuki runs away. Is my... What's wrong with me? I'm here. Weeby, did something happen? <laughs> I don't have any eyes. I can't see. Natsuki just randomly pass ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Weeby? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize that... 
Oh my god. I didn't realize the script was that was broken that badly. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh my god. It, it, she is deleting the characters. Oh, she deleted Natsuki too. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from... Oh, because she's deleted. It changed it. Blanks tray and takes a cupcake. <laughs> Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyways, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? Monica, if you love me so much, why didn't you give me the option to write poems for you? This should only take a second. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it starts again! <laughs> oh god. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? <gasps> Yay, there you are. What are you, Monica? Are you god? Hi again, Weeby. Um, welcome to the literature club. Is this really the literature club? I feel like I'm in hell. <laughs> of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> I was your senpai, remember? You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. You've already played through it like three times. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, Weeby. Oh god. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh wait, you do know I'm aware that this is a game and all, right? <laughs> I kind of figured that out. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? What? <laughs> Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyways, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? I deleted that bitch. Yes, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, so... It just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. Okay, so she was making them more messed up. It just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. <laughs> what kind of cruel game is this, Weeby? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. <laughs> I mean, this is fucking crazy. How could you understand this? Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll just never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, is because the programmer didn't give the option to hang out with her? That she got pissed off? And knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing that what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Weeby. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. <laughs> you're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. <laughs> I didn't want to save yours. I wanted to save Sayori's. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? <laughs> Those bitches. 
a group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? It makes sense why they're all so cliches of anime characters now, too. That's crazy. This is so meta. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just dumb game. And I knew you would get over it. To that being said, Weeby, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you too. <laughs> I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Are you going to give me a choice? Weeby, will you go out with me? <laughs> This is just so romantic. I don't even know what to say. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Girl, if you thought I said no to Yuri for her being fucking crazy, what do you think I'm going to say say to you? I'm going to save. Oh my god. All the save files are deleted again. There's no point saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> it just gave me one choice, too. Of course. I love it if I try to click the exit button if like she was just like nope you fucking can't i was so happy it's not like you had a choice but still i'm glad you really are my everything weeby the funny part is i mean that literally <laughs> there's nothing left here just the two of us we can be together forever seriously i don't even think time is passing anymore it really is a dream come true I worked so hard for this ending, Weeby. This is the good end! Congrats! The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. Oh, so she was- I guess she was just like a character, but she got pissed off that the game wouldn't let you have an ending with her? The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters in the Game Directory! <laughs> it kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. <laughs> to get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. <laughs> Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. <laughs> Gosh, I'm overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. <laughs> Please don't. And don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Monica. She looks so fucking evil too. Jeez, I wonder who I'll get to choose. God, I hope I get the Monica cutscene. Oh my god. Hi again, Weeby. Did you write a good poem today? <laughs> this one's great. It just says Monica over and over again with really fucked up script. Don't be shy. I'd love to see what she wrote. Oh, Weeby. And did you write this poem for me? <laughs> Was she like pissed off every time I wrote a poem based off of somebody else? That's so sweet of you. And there's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. <laughs> oh God, I don't want to see it. Will you please read it? Happy end. <laughs> this is definitely the good end. <laughs> Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. And that's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. <laughs> I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. She was the one who had like the fourth wall jokes. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred <laughs> if you preferred playing without me. Hey, gosh, I'm so relieved. Now I don't need to hide anything anymore. 
Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Weeby? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? What? <laughs> she, she knows I'm using OBS. <laughs> oh my god, what the crap? Um, hi everyone, Monica here. <laughs> Monica News here. I'm taking over the channel, bitches. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking can't. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. <laughs> Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know. What is going on? What are you doing? I'm just kidding. <laughs> See, I like zoomed in my face there. Wasn't that pretty cool? I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some- no! And did I scare you? Yes! <laughs> You're so cute. Anyways, we- <laughs> I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyways, if it takes some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> not the quickest. After her talking to my friends, they were talking about how, like, um, it kind of has to do with, like, what she was talking about before. She was talking about, before she was talking about, uh, deleting Natsuki in them, so she just, like, went to the game file. Is that literally what you're supposed to do? Like, go into the game file and, like, delete her? That's, like, the only thing I can fucking think of at this point. Is that it? What? Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Seriously? <laughs> oh, what's happening? Weeby, what's happening to me? It hurts. <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Oh my god, I can't believe that. Please hurry and help me. No, bitch. <laughs> Rimby Files character, Monica. Character does not exist. Help me. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot fucking believe this. Please bring back it. Bring back best girl Sayori. <laughs> Did you do this to me, Weeby? Did you? Did you delete me? <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left <laughs> because I deleted all my friends. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Weeby. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. <laughs> Go find some other people to torture. <laughs> Go play Persona or something. Weeby, you completely truly make me sick. <laughs> Goodbye. I thought you loved me, Monica. <laughs> Is that it? I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean all that stuff. Is there something else I have to do? I can't help it. Oh, what's wrong with me? How? Oh, I thought I deleted you, bitch. How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. And then I fucked it all up. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I made up in my mind. Weeby, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. <laughs> Did you, though? 
I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, you'll give me back Sayori. <laughs> then... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. <laughs> Game is not suitable for children. Oh my god, she's just gone? Is it gonna be like happy now? What happened to my little, oh my god. This game is fucking crazy. Okay, so I actually asked some of my friends because I wasn't sure if this was the ending or not, but they said to keep going. I kind of clicked through it a little bit just to kind of see what happened. It didn't really look like too much was happening. So I was like, uh, just go back, but I'll go ahead and start, I guess, again <laughs> from the beginning of this new whole thing. I only clicked through maybe like seven frames or whatever before I was like, is this a thing or <laughs> not? But um, I guess they said there's not too much more left and that it's not over until the credits roll. <laughs> you really can't tell with this game when it's over. It's an ordinary school day, just like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends, groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. Hey, Weeby. Well, there already is one girl. The best girl. The girl Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we've picked up on that habit once again. Weeby, are you proud of me? Huh, for what? You know. For walking up on for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, uh, it's it is good to see Siori alive again. I'm happy. I don't know. I'm really tired because I've been recording for like five hours. But <laughs> I am happy. I guess there is a little bit more to it other than what uh, just happened. It, it's honestly hard to tell with this game. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say that out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Weedy, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she started a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. <laughs> the Doki Doki Literature Club, the greatest place on earth. Boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sayori puts me in her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's not before I know it. And it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Weeby, what are you doing here? Oh, the literature club is finally not fucked up? Well, I just, ah, I glance around the room. Huh. Yay, Natsuki, you're normal. Sarah the weeby that Sayori's always talking about. Thanks for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, weeby. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Weeby, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. <laughs> Without that bitch Monica in here. The Literature Club! Sayori's eyes light up. No way! 
No way! Ah! Suri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sari is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially or recognized group. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Yay, your little kitty cupcakes. I hope you don't, you know, get beat by your dad anymore. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolates were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Suri grabs one first and I follow. It's delicious. Suri talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Is <laughs> the same as before. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of fl Is Monica gonna fucking bust in here again? <laughs> I changed my mind, Weeby, you little bitch ass. You're gonna be in love with me no matter what. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Oh, well, of course it is. Oh, I like you, Natsuki. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Oh, Yuri. God, God bless your soul. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teacup, the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Oh, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. Haha, <laughs> already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Ah, uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Weeby, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few days, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. <laughs> Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Ah, oh, yay. It's all pretty much the same thing, but without Monica. It looks like she just wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something we have in common. I'm happy you're not crazy anymore, Yuri. <laughs> hey, Yuri. Huh? I wonder if they don't like each other. It, without Monica there, if that was like another thing she added in. Well, about you know the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. And don't say it. Oh, is she like more open about it since that bitch Monica's not around? For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. And besides, manga is literature too, you know? And so if Weeby wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Weeby? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. 
I think it could be fun. Oh, I'm happy you're alive again. Even if you are, just <laughs> script. And we'll all get to know each other a little better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Um, I don't disagree or anything. Hey, yeah. You're right, as usual, President. <laughs> oh, yay, Siori's the president now. Good. I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri. Huh? I have to read manga? Hey, <laughs> jeez. You weren't the one... You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. Yay! See, they're all so nice now. It's freaking Monica making them mean. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy. It's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, and that makes me happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. And just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Aw, oh, yay, they're gonna be friends. Um, if you don't mind, this is like the happy version I wanted after, <laughs> after a while. Not at all. I always go home alone, so, aw, oh, yay, you guys will walk together and I'll walk home with Sayori. Hey, yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. Don't tell the best girl to shut up. I'll show some... I'll show you some manga there, too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Ha ha ha. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you, too, Weeby. A little too much, probably. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little bit better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Weeby. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Weeby. I really wanna thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Ha 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 ha. There's actually something else. Do you know it's a game too? I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <laughs> I was so sick of that bitch. Ha. That's right. Oh no, are you crazy too? I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. Oh no. But I really know everything, Weeby. Ha 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 ha. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now! Damn it, say where you are, you crazy! And you made me the happiest girl in the whole wide world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Oh no! Forever and ever. Oh no! For er Oh my god, no! <laughs> Not this shit again! <laughs> no. Okay. Huh? Do I get to delete your file too? Why, Sayori? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. <laughs> ah. I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Weeby. Goodbye, Literature Club. <laughs> Is it just gonna, like, boot me out of the game? Is Monica? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. <laughs> 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 
playing audio. Oh, she was learning the song that's in the background. Oh my god, is this Monica again? <laughs> In my hair is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Oh my god. <laughs> Being closed down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find special day what will it take just to find that special day oh my gosh oh i can't believe we're actually getting like a ending kind of thing I thought it would just boot me out of the game or something oh yeah we get like an actual credits wow that game was wow is this a real log or is this just like a picture they're presenting Special thanks, Monica Weeby. <laughs> Fucking rip. I do like it, though. I think it is a good... It is a really good game. It was very different than what I expected. Very, very different than what I expected. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Oh. Have to reinstall the game? Oh, whoa, it did boot me out. Oh, weird. <laughs> cool. Good times. Oh, yay. The characters are back. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I wanted to do my conclusion uh, post-editing rather than the conclusion that I kind of said after I beat the game. As I'm sure you guys could tell, the game freaked me out a good bit. Um, and I was really, really tired by the end of it, so I don't feel like I had very good um, things to really say <laughs> after I beat it. I feel like I have a lot more to say after like editing and like thinking on it. I've been obsessed with this game ever since I've beat it. I've been watching so many other like reactions to it or theory videos or just like meme videos on it. And even though it freaked me the out while I was playing. It's really, really a brilliant game and I have nothing but praise really to say about it. I feel like all the characters are really good too. I feel like I gave Monica a really hard time while I was playing it and I really did not like her while I was playing it just because I was still sort of salty about everything she had done. But uh, editing and kind of thinking on it more, I actually do kind of feel bad for her. All the characters were actually really interesting and relatable and I felt like I got significantly emotionally attached to them even though this is a fairly short game. And I kind of wanted to get that out of the way too, so nobody thought I like hated any of the characters. I kind of use laughing as like a coping mechanism too when I uh, get scared or like freaked out, so I hope that kind of explains that as well. I know a lot of other people don't do that. I think I did that a lot in V3 too when, <laughs> when things would get messed up. I don't know, it's just kind of my personality, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, sorry that I guess there was a couple of things I was spoiled on. Hopefully it was still worth it to you guys to watch. I did feel like there was still a lot of uh, surprises in it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. A lot of you guys still seem interested in me playing Persona 5 next. The only thing is that a lot of you guys have said it's like insanely long, like 100 hours long or something along those lines, so that is a very, very big commitment. And I've seen other people saying I should start with 3 or 4. I've heard kind of mixed things on that, so I might uh, think about it, I guess, a little bit longer. I'm still kind of leaning towards just uh, starting with 5, though. And a lot of you guys have been saying you kind of like for me to focus on more visual novel-based games, which I sort of agree with, too. I feel like the visual novel aspects of V3 and the ones that uh, weren't um, super duper meta in this game are kind of like my strength when it comes to Let's Playing, since I like to do the voices and kind of joke around with that. So hopefully, uh, with that being said, Persona would still be a good series for me to get into, uh, Let's Playing-wise. I guess I'd be interested to know if you guys think my style would fit with Persona or not. 
Also, before I get into like the next Let's Play though, I do think it might be fun to do a couple of mods. A lot of you guys in the comment section were saying to do the Rain Clouds mod, which I would like to do, but at the same time, I'm a bit worried. I kind of mentioned it somewhat in, um, not my, not this video, but my last video, that I did have a friend who struggled uh, pretty severely with uh, depression and suicidal thoughts and stuff like that, which is why some of the Sayori stuff kind of hit close to home. So I've also been kind of told by uh, some of my sponsors and other people to avoid the rain clouds mod like the plague because of that, that it might just affect me a little too much. There was another mod one of my friends was telling me about that was called Our Time, which I think is supposed to be focused around Monica. So I was thinking about maybe doing that one, or if you guys know any other ones you might want me to do. I like, I might try the rain clouds mod, but um, I don't know. I guess you guys could let me know if you think it'll be a little too emotional of an experience for me or not. But anyways, please let me know if you're interested in me doing mods or um, if you think Persona would be a good series for me to get into on this channel. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, I guess, the main story for this game and I will see you real soon.